Welcome to Valladolid in Mexico. Valladolid is a small historical city in Yucatan and it doesn't get as much attention as many other popular destinations on the peninsula probably because Valladolid is not close to the coast like Cancun, Tulum and Playa del Carmen While some tourists visit Valladolid on a day trip from Cancun to Chichen Itza we decided to stay here for a few nights to experience what Valladolid has to offer and also explore some of the main attractions in Yucatan. Valladolid is located between two cities, Cancun and Merida, and it is two hours away from either of them. Valladolid is a charming town and it is hard to miss how colorful the buildings here are. Valladolid is one of the best places in Mexico to experience authentic Mayan culture and try some local dishes. As with the rest of Yucatan Peninsula, Valladolid has tropical weather all year round, which means that you can visit this city any time of the year. But if you want nice weather, you should go there between November and April to avoid the hot and wet season. The only way to get to Valladolid is by road. You can take a local bus called ADO from Cancun or any other major city in Yucatan to Valladolid. Or you can rent a car and drive. This is what we did. Keep in mind that driving in Mexico comes with its own risks. We were robbed by the Mexican police on our way from Bacalar to Valladolid. I shared that story in a separate video that you can watch later. Now let's talk about the best things to do in Valladolid. A stroll around the city. The city is known for its colonial architecture with many beautiful buildings dating back to the 16th and 17th century. Valladolid has a rich history and it used to be a center of Mayan culture. So, strolling around the city or taking a walking tour is a must-do in Valladolid. The main square called the Parque Francisco Cantón is a popular gathering place surrounded by beautiful colonial buildings. Here is a great spot for people watching. The most impressive building here is the Cathedral of San Servacio, which is considered one of the most important religious monuments of the Yucatan Peninsula. This is Sao Roque Museum. One of the fun and free things to do in Valladolid is to go to the Sao Roque Museum. It's not a big museum and you can visit the whole museum in less than an hour. There are some murals displaying Mayan history and a collection of shaman altars. The museum is inside the historical building within walking distance from the main square. It is open to the public almost every day from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Go to Cenote Zaki. Did you know that you can visit a cenote in Valladolid? Cenote Zaki is the only cenote in Yucatan that is located inside the city center. Cenote Zaki is surrounded by lush vegetation and has a small cave that opens up to the sky. The cave can be accessed by swimming through a small tunnel that leads to the cave. During our visit, the cenote was closed for renovation, but usually this cenote is a great spot for swimming, snorkeling, and relaxing. Relaxing. There is a restaurant right next to the cenote, which is also a great place to dine and enjoy the natural beauty of the cenote. In case you are wondering, cenotes are natural sinkholes that were created by the collapse of underground limestone caves. The cenotes were considered sacred by the ancient Maya and were used for ceremonial and religious purposes. Nowadays, they are a popular tourist spot for swimming and diving. Take a day trip to Cenotes. Apart from Cenotes Zaki, there are so many amazing and unique Cenotes around Valladolid. This means that Valladolid is a great base for visiting them. You can easily take day trips to explore the Cenotes in the surrounding area. There are several tour operators in Valladolid that offer guided trips to Cenotes. These tours usually include transportation to and from the Cenotes as well as a snorkeling gear and a guide to show you around. However, the most convenient way is to rent a car and 
and dry. Some cenotes are great for swimming, while some are more popular for photography. Cenote Ikil is just 25 miles away from Valladolid, and it is one of the most beautiful cenotes in Yucatan. It is a great place for swimming and cliff jumping. The cenote is a popular tourist spot and can get crowded. It is good to go there early in the morning before all tours arrive. Cenote Oxam and Cenote Samal are the closest cenote to Valladolid and both are only a short drive away. They are also a great place for swimming. Cenote Soitun is probably the most Instagrammable cenote in Mexico and it is located only a 12 minute drive away from Valladolid. Many tourists visit this cenote only to take photos, but you can actually swim there. It is one of the most shallow cenotes in Yucatan. Visit Chechen Itza As we all know, Chechen Itza is one of the new seven wonders of the world and it is one of the best places to visit in Yucatan. Chichen Itza was a major cultural, political, and economic hub in ancient times, and it was considered one of the most important Mayan cities. It is located 28 miles from Valladolid. You can take a local bus from Valladolid, take a guided tour, or simply drive. Chichen Itza is probably the most visited Mayan ruins in Yucatan, so it can be packed. To avoid the crowds, you can get here before the opening hours. Chichen Itza is only a 5 minute drive from Ikil Cenote, so you can visit both attractions in one trip. Go to the Cobalt Ruins If you want to visit a less crowded archaeological site, you should visit the Cobalt Ruins. Koba is located halfway between Valladolid and Tulum, only an hour's drive away. Koba was one of the largest and most important Mayan cities. The main attraction at Koba is Nuhoj Mul Pyramid, which is the tallest pyramid on the Yucatan Peninsula and one of the tallest Mayan pyramids in the world. Visitors can climb the pyramid if they are willing to do the steep climb, but be aware that the stairs are narrow and it can be slippery. Kobo is an ideal spot for those who want to explore and appreciate the ancient ruins in a more peaceful setting. Take a day trip to Rio Lagartos and Las Coloradas. Yucatan is famous for its bright sandy beaches, Mayan ruins, and beautiful cenotes. But this peninsula has more to offer. To see a different side of Yucatan, you can take a day trip from Valladolid to Las Coloradas and Rio Lagartos. Las Coloradas is known for its unique natural pink lakes that are owned by the salt factory nearby. The vibrant pink color of the lakes is due to the red color algae, plankton, and brine shrimps that thrive in salty environments. You're not allowed to swim in the lakes, but most tourists come here to take photos and see the lakes. 20 minutes drive from Las Coloradas, you will find Rio Lagartos, a protected area, and this is one of the best places in Yucatan for wildlife watching. Here you can take a boat tour on the river where you can see crocodiles, pink flamingos, pelicans, and many other birds. Visiting Rio Lagartos was one of the highlights of our trip to Valladolid. Overall, Valladolid in Mexico is known for its rich culture, history, and natural beauty, making it an interesting destination to visit. The city also offers a unique opportunity to experience and learn more about the Mayan culture, with the strong presence of local communities that still keep and preserve their heritage. Let me know in the comments if you have any question for me or any advice for other travelers. Same as always, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.